All right, you guys. Uh, today I was working on a uh, Swift project. Uh, just I, I tested it or ran it for a very short duration, but um, was going to show you how I actually remove uh, most of the noise that was that is captured by a scanner, regardless of the method of um, capture. Uh, typically, you know where I'm going to go with this. Uh, I'll create a clipping box and maybe encompass the object or the person or the noise that's 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 you know uh, off consideration over here and this is easy right you can always just right click the clipping box and go ahead hit the active clipping box and delete the visible points but um, say you have um, this is a little bit more complex of a space for example there's um, this this uh, screen that's in the way and you in order to cut off this person, you'd have to cut off um, just in this section, and then you'd have to create the brand new box and cut off somewhere else. Um, what I found be to, to be a very useful kind of workaround is, uh, you see I have the ground, right? You have, I have the ground, I have the carpet, I have the mat over there, I'll, I'll hide those, which means I am going to probably still have some noise in my scans, but most of the noise will be just barely above the actual um, carpet or the ground that I scan. Now, my clipping box, I will kind of eliminate. I can see that there are certain things that I need to get rid of, and you probably already know where I'm going with this because this is, but this is it is a useful useful. Uh, way of thinking about how to remove noise. So when I have the clipping box around most of the noise that I'm trying to remove, I will hit the little uh, visibility icon so that it hides the actual clipping box so that it's not in my way. And now in this view, I see most of the noise that I'm actually uh, trying to remove over here, right? And because the carpet is uh, actually hiding, that means I know I can clip with a 2D selection. So what I'll do is I'll hit the selection tool, go into the polygon, and start clipping what I know is seen as noise. I'll double click to actually finish. I'm not sure what that is, but double click to finish. You'll see that everything inside that selection is now yellow. So there we go. Now when I right click the selection and I hit the delete points option, those floating people or the, the noise is actually gone. Now when I bring back the actual clipping box, I have to bring it back with this, but now when I hide it, you'll notice that these people are gone and I didn't have to meticulously create a clipping box and then extend the clipping box functionality again further and keep on doing what I'm kind of doing over here. But if somebody's um, let's say uh, maybe leaning over the counter you'd have to make a couple of boxes because you don't want to actually remove this person from having uh, uh, you know been over an object that you want to have in your scan but once again i'll make sure that the carpet or the ground that i'm i need to have is actually gone um, hide the box itself and once again, just confirm that that person or those people or that noise is within my, you know, visibility over here. Double click to close, right click to delete the points. And that's a relatively fast way of getting rid of noise. Of course, this will still take you a long time to actually remove everything, but it's helped me before where I was just struggling with the boxes and just moving the box around left and right and left and right and left and right and then removing just that. But doing it this way, I am able uh, to not have to deal with uh, resizing it as much as I used to before. So here we go once again. We'll just get rid of the carpet over there. And... I do it from the top because it's, you know, people are usually taller than they are wide. So once again, we'll go ahead and try to remove this person that walked in here. 
There we go. Double click, delete, and they're gone. So, I mean, this is how I typically uh, go around if I'm trying to make um, my life a little bit easier and I'm not as particular about where I place my clipping box. I just need to make sure that uh, when I'm clipping out the person or the noise, that nothing of any value is actually in the box and uh, then just use the lasso this uh, polygon selector to remove the noise don't forget to save of course because without saving all of these um, uh, objects or uh, people that were walking by that were considered noise are still going to be retained all right hopefully this was a useful video if you have any questions or comments leave them below